Hey everyone, this episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. And now to read this ad, we have a special guest, Dr. Gabe Pisciotta. Sometimes it's way easier to talk to a stranger about your problems than it is to talk to your family or your best friend. This is why therapy is so important. Your therapist will never have to attend a family dinner with that relative you've been complaining about. And if you're looking for a total stranger who can help you through life's problems, BetterHelp is an amazing resource. Take it from me, Dr. Gabe Pisciotta. I remember after my daughter died, I had a tough time going outside and looking at the sun without thinking of her shining face. And now I talk to a professional every week and I don't get scared whenever I cross the street thinking about what that box truck did to her tiny frail body. <laughs> no, I don't. And I, yeah, and I can go to the popcorn shop and I can get myself a tasty malt without thinking about how that was the last thing her sweet tongue tasted before she went up to see grandma and grandpa in heaven. So yeah, I think therapy is the number one thing to do. If you're a man or a woman or a non-binary person like myself, Dr. Gabe Pisciota, they them. DDS. It better help us entirely online so you can do therapy whenever and wherever works for you. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched. Brief, much like my daughter's fleeting wife. To get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists, I would switch over to hell just to fight the devil to give me one more kiss on her sweet lips at any time for no additional charge. So let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash chubby today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash chubby. I miss you. Pull this down Man. a little so that it's not all. That was cool that we had Dr. Yeah. That was cool we had Dr. Gabe Pisciotta to read that better help ad. Yeah, that was cool. I liked hearing from Dr. Gabe. He's uh, really going through hell right now, questioning whether he should stick around or, you know, try to see if he can find his daughter on the other side. But he should just now, he's hanging that, in there. He should just use that, uh, that Ouija board that we brought him back from Tokyo. Just kidding. We're still here, everybody. Welcome to an episode of Chubby Behemoth from the land of the rising sun and the land of the sweaty buns, Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo in July. What a nightmare. <laughs> what a fatal mistake this has been. You would think that, you know, the sun rises in the east and then very quickly says goodbye and leaves Tokyo to uh, be a nice, cool paradise. But no, it heats up the concrete early and often, and uh, you're left to just bake in your own juices. Yeah. which like, I can see that he's not really on camera. I don't know anything about on your leg. <laughs> Stop being like around the corner. Yeah. Quit being around the horn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Max Kellerman. Yeah. And uh, Woody Page. Woody Page was a yeah. mainstay, always mm -hmm. looking hung over as hell. Yeah. He just has giant bags under his eyes, much like I have giant balls when we're outside. My balls have never been so far outside of my body as they have been in old Japan. Yeah. They're really, if they went inside, they would just bake. It would, it would be like a thousand year old egg. God. It's an egg-based culture. There's a lot of eggs being traded. Uh, there was a guy that tried to sell you as an egg. He's yeah. like, come, come over here around the, like, the corner in this alley. And you're like, I'm on to you, Eggman. Yeah, it's like, oh, all right, I'm not falling for this again. You had a pretty good egg riff earlier that we're not going to be able to recreate. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Uh, well, yeah, you asked if I was big. Still eating a lot of eggs because I used to brag about how many eggs I could put away yeah. without blinking an eye. And I said, no, Megan and I were eating eggs pretty regularly and enjoying them. And then really without saying anything to each other, we stopped buying them. And we've meant to go out to a farm. Uh, I think it's in Honey. And there's eggs that you can you just show up and you like leave the, the money drop it into the the box or something and then take eggs so There's it's like a take there. a penny leave a penny but with eggs well you leave a penny take an eighth of an egg how much do you have to pay for an egg you think how much does one that egg sense. cost no, i don't know because i would go out there and i would buy them one by one you and really confuse an, the chickens you buy an egg a day yeah the chickens aren't out there selling the <laughs> eggs no they're not I no. thought it was like when the uh, migrant workers grew the fruit and then stole enough bushels to sell on the side of the highway. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I thought was going on. You don't put down your money and then the egg or the chicken nods to you, turns around and shits out an egg for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chicken lights a cigarette, puts it in the ashtray, and it says, All right, you have until the cigarette's gone. <laughs> <laughs> <To eat that. laughs> it's chicken sluts. Uh yeah, so let's talk about this. How many eggs have you eaten in your life? <laughs> no. Let me check my phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You have an egg a day calendar. I have a notes app. I have a notes uh, file. Uh, I, I just put an E for each egg. I had an egg today. Yeah. I don't want to brag. I had it in my ramen. God, that ramen oh, was good. Becker, I didn't know that you hated ramen and sushi, or I wouldn't have brought you. I like ramen a lot. You didn't have any ramen. Look, I gotta, we got to get to this right away. I've been it's been up driving me crazy. Barely. Becker? Yeah. You're on thin ice already. All right? You brag all the time on this podcast. It's In fact, some would say it's your whole thing. It's <laughs> your total bag of shit. That I eat a lot? That you eat a lot. You're always like, I eat a lot. I love eating. Uh, sorry, guys, I can't podcast. Busy eating. Right. Uh, but on this trip... You have eaten barely anything in front of me. I had a lot at the den last night and yesterday That's after I finally got stoned. You did not eat a lot at the den. I, I had quite a bit at the den. You ate the same amount we all ate. We all ate quite a bit at the den. It didn't feel like a lot. It didn't. I did not feel like a fucking uh, bag of sand afterward. Well, I, I didn't feel like the all... first breast I ever touched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was all relatively healthy food. We were yeah. eating like grilled stuff and baked stuff and uh, no small portions. Yeah. We were, it added up to a nice meal. But yeah, I thought we were going to like hit at McDonald's afterwards. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Gabe. Gabe. Which is his Gabe. name. Yes. <laughs> shout out to Gabe, who you tried to convince me over breakfast coffee that the man's name was Gabe. Yeah. I thought yeah. he said that. I thought he corrected us early on. And then I thought he corrected you again when we were in the secret place. That's how you know that I trust you and that I shouldn't is I, and I was like, oh no, I feel bad that the man's name is Gabe. And I call, I literally said, so gay B. That's how, that was the first, like the third thing I said to him, gay B. All right. Like we used to say to that guy who worked at the Jimmy John's and Bonzo remembers that guy. <laughs> who's not, he, Bonzo's hiding from the pod. But yeah, I hit up Gabe and was like, hey, man, serious question. Is your name Gabe or Gabe? And he responded, Gabe, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, yeah, Becker had me convinced that it was Gabe. That was impossible. I wasn't gaslighting you. I'm just dumb. And then Gabe asked if he could take some artistic Polaroids of us. Nice. And I didn't respond because that's a what? weird follow up. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Let's let him do it. Let's let him do it. He didn't say tasteful nudes or anything. He didn't say boudoir shots. We should we should bring him over robot. here. We should bring him over here and turn the AC off and let him come in that jungle we've got going on back there. Yeah. The only thing saving this place is the AC being on. <laughs> that Otherwise, AC it would be happened. fucked. It smells so bad in my bed. Because you keep getting in there without rinsing off. It's like I'm crawling in a dead horse every time I get into bed. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, like, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to line up when we get here, like good boys, and all take a shower. Yes. What we should just, you know, what we should do when we get home from now on, take our pop those shirts off and just all get in that big old shower together. <laughs> Close each other down. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Bonzo, there's room. Is your camera lens steam resistant? There's no steam. Are you taking hot showers? Oh yeah. Ugh. What? It's You're not... taking cold showers? Yes. Yeah. It feels good. Don't are you taking in horror? Are you taking hot showers? I mix it up. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So you haven't taken a hot shower yet? Corner. Uh, the first one might have been like kind of warm, but the last couple have been uh, pretty cold because it feels good. What about you? All cold. No. Yes. Kind of lukewarm. I turned the warm on a little bit. I have not touched the cold nozzle. I just cranked the hot. Full of shit. I swear. On our friendship and the success of this podcast, you don't care. You only care about one of those things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that seems crazy to me. No, well, hey, I do a lot of nut stuff. Why have it be so hot? Because I like to get clean in there. I'm not getting clean when it's cold. The soap cleans you, not the, the what? The temperature of the water. <laughs> so <laughs> the what? <laughs> the... <laughs> you know about soap. I'm using the soap. I'm using that Dove, and. I use Dub that with a B. Dub. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Dub. 
Yeah, I used that dove. No bait. I tried to use that dove for a, uh, a little research project this morning. You were pulling? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sleep. This morning. I went back for one last heist. Oh, okay. One final score. You know what I keep... You know where I perpetrated? You. What? I jacked the last night in Mexico. <laughs> Didn't we share a bed? Shared a bed. I went in the bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care what you do in the bathroom. I, just I love when I can hear what you do in the bathroom. You should know that I jacked. Well, you should you know. You didn't jack in Mexico, did you? No. Yeah, no. I, did. I did. But you should know that I um, I stealthed you this morning. This I, morning? I did it next to, I did it in the bed. Night. I swear to God I did. I can show you the sock. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why? Why? Why not? What are you going to do with that sock? Same thing with all my clothes. Burn them. <laughs> it's another wrecked garment. Send them to the president. Yeah, here you go, Biden. Take a whiff of this. <laughs> Maybe this will remind you what hard work smells like. Damn. Yeah, uh, I had to. I couldn't sleep. I thought that would alleviate my brain tension. Uh, it did not. I laid awake. Why, that's why I jacked it in Mexico. I couldn't sleep and I wanted to uh, get to bed. So I, I whacked. And I thought I should have done it a lot earlier. I did it at like 9.30. No. Yeah. I was up at nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're you're so you're so self-involved and up your own ass. You didn't even notice shit. I was over there pulling my blood. <laughs> you're full of shit. You're not full of cum, <laughs> but you are full of shit. Now Becker is honking uh, a THC H pen. It's almost gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's pretty much gone. You've had it for less, you know. less than 24 hours. Uh, God. I got, you need better help. I got multiple ones. <laughs> You're running. From you something. should talk to Dr. Gabe Pisciotta. Okay. Gabe? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was, it was Gabe. Gabe. Yes, Gabe. Uh, but yeah, anyway, Becker hasn't been eating a lot, and it's kind of upsetting me because I feel like I've let you down because I'm uh, not picking the right restaurants. No, not at all. I just didn't have an appetite until I started getting high on THCA. But even this morning, all you had was some dumplings, and you ate like four dumplings, and you were like, whoa, I had, like, these are the best. They were really good. They were like the uh, ones. porky. Porky pig. <laughs> yeah, and that crispy chili crisp they had. Ooh. <laughs> that chili crisp was very good. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. But no, I don't. What? I, I Bonzo? Don't what are you laughing like at? 10 p.m. every day. You explain that. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's once a I day. never eat in the morning. It makes At me night. feel sick. I want you to pile on, though. I'll pile on. Just do it for me. Last night, Just I was do it piling on as much as I could. Do it for the giver. I skipped like a fish and some fish cakes. Yeah, because you don't like fish. It's I don't real. like fish. Maybe we should do uh, the Unagi place and McDonald's and just go back and forth until the cops come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> the cops here are all 65 years old yeah and uh, all they do is smile or they hold up the x while smiling well we got stopped when we wanted... they hit you with the x factor we want to hear you've been x that's what killed china and we're in japan <laughs> so that's ironic uh we tried to go walk through a giant park that led to uh, one, I think one of the bigger shrines in Tokyo. The Mijigiji. And we weren't allowed to enjoy our Starbucks cold brew while walking through the forest. God, you wrecked me at Starbucks. Stopped me. What? You wrecked me at Starbucks. What did I do? You got me so good. That lady, she, she, we, we walked up and she spoke very good uh, English. She said, Have you made a decision? And you ordered. And then she asked us after I ordered together or separate, and you went together, and then you went same shirt. And we were wearing the same lobster shirt, <laughs> and she went like, "Yes, yeah, very good." <laughs> I, I'm well aware that they're the same shirt, <laughs> and I was like secretly laughing very hard. Well, I thought it was, it's a continuation of the bit. I know. Together or separate. Oh, yeah, we've been together for, or no. 12 crazy it's either years. We've been together. Yeah, we've been together a long time. It's like, no, I'm just friends, whatever the response is. But yeah, for this, it was more like, uh, what do you think? We have the same shirt on, mm -hmm. of course. We do everything together. <laughs> I want to ask you this, too. I came into Tokyo uh, a day before you guys to kind of set up here, get the lay of the land. And you had some grand conspiracy that I came in a day early for mm -hmm. secret reasons. Something else. You kept saying, oh, yeah, I want to make sure I know how to get us uh, from the airport to the Airbnb. Literally, I did. And I was like, that's not a reason to show up a day early. What is the real reason? 
and you're like, I'll never tell. <laughs> well, I want. I mean, I literally wanted to make sure because I know how cranky you can get when you haven't had any sleep or six meals. So. Sure enough. Yeah, I was cranky. You wanted to kill that nice man. I was cranky, man. <laughs> it, it, I didn't think it would fuck with me until I couldn't sleep on the plane, and I was like, "Oh, good, I'm fucked." Mm-hmm. And I cranky. Got off the plane benzo. and just felt very weird and off. Yeah, I was so gross. Uh-huh. I didn't That's what think that saying. I was that gross until like you got held waiting up to get off the plane, and then it was like, "Oh God," or like the last hour. I was like, fuck, man, I reek. And this dude next to me knows it and he hasn't said anything because he's nice. He also doesn't speak English. I know I had a white guy next to me, an American oh. dude, who who was going to be in Japan for five hours before taking another plane to Guam for work. He was going to be in Guam for two days and then he was flying home. So I don't know. It was a contract killer, CIA operative, whatever. Whoa. Yeah. What the hell? Pineapple impregnator? What the fuck? Maybe also, he uh, maybe he like makes the world's biggest scales I for think, weighing people. I didn't know so where we had to Guam go to Guam. Was. I didn't know where Guam was. You know where Guam is? If, Guam to bomb.com. If I would have had to guess, I would have said like <laughs> by in the Caribbean? I don't what? Central America. You I don't know, know where Guam is? No. You're supposed to be the smart one. I'm the where's Guam? Becker's the guy in the chair. Where's Guam? <laughs> Becker's our oracle. Uh, yeah. Guam is in the uh, near it's in the it's in the part of the Pacific Island chains. Mm-hmm. It's like near Hawaii, nor my, near Micronesia, uh, near Samoa. Okay, I guess maybe yeah. I thought it was uh, Hawaii, near Hawaii, but yeah, nothing's like, really near Hawaii. And also, a flight to Guam is like fifteen k. Jeez. Yeah, because they just like if you need to go to Guam, guess what? You're fucked. Yeah. So huh. we got you by the balls. Damn. And it's also some of the biggest pig people in the world. <laughs> What? It's like they love eating big or they're huge folks? Both. Whoa. Yeah, column A and column B. In fact, a lot of people accidentally get cannibalized in Guam because they fall asleep on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and then the locals, being so very, hungry, very yeah, they just, you know, the sand, the wind blows the sand over the body. and He wakes up, he's baked, he's half eaten God. by his, uh, his nephews and his usus. Us. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that was your flight experience. You sat next to a Guam guy. You I showed up a day early for, I, us, for our benefit. I did, and we. I flew uh, out of Chicago. I flew first class from Detroit to Chicago because no one's getting upgraded on that flight. And then no upgrade for me. I didn't want to spend the big bag of money to fly up front, so I was an old thirty three L. I sit down in the window and guy on the aisle is a real cut buff uh, american soldier who's coming over here to uh, perpetrate whatever secret crimes soldiers do uh probably sex stuff um probably some gun violence probably both without consent um and who sits between us well (laughs) more like what sat between (laughs) us (laughs) it was uh the god planet Kronos sat <laughs> between us. Um, it was a man who, look, we're big guys. And I know a lot of this pod just evolves into us talking about what kind of freaks we sit next to on airplanes. But if we were doing a freaky deaky mutant bracket of the worst wads ever in the sky, yeah, this guy <laughs> is Duke with Christian Leitner. This guy <laughs> is Wake Forest with Tim Duncan. This guy is the dream team all put together. The flat He's the five. starting five. Yeah. Uh, Michigan. Truly the worst guy ever <laughs> to live, <laughs> to be alive. Oh, no. Uh, we're, we're broad. We're broad guys. This man was as wide as he was deep. Damn. <laughs> yes. He was, uh, it was like he was com- computer generated uh, by an AI model that was like, make the grossest piece of shit ever (laughs) if you had a pig with a brick (laughs) make a square pig when he he brought his like daughter or his i don't know underage bride and she sat in the middle in front of us and i was like okay that's why he's slowed down right now thank god he's gonna keep going there's no way this man would allow himself 
to wedge between two other people who have families. <laughs> two other people who are just a child of God like him. Surely he bought a row for himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting his daughter on this plane and then he's getting onto a different plane. <laughs> right, a special plane. <laughs> it usually carries barrels of mud. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I think that he should have he should have been up front in in first class. But if he did, the blame just would have been like this. It would, it would have gone to take off, and instead of taking off, the plane just would have flipped over. <laughs> I mean, dude, he okay necklace apprentice for sure. Yeah, all right. He could have kissed his own clavicle. There was no neck. Yeah, no, like right here, like this one. He could. Yeah, he could just tongue his own guy. Well, I mean, maybe an inch away from his clavicle was his lips, his uh, his sweet porcine lips. And when he went to get into us, uh, in between us, he just said, I know, I'm sorry. And he sat down. And there's a Pokemon called like uh, Mom Gash or uh, Ant Gape. I can't remember. There, it's it's like a smusho Pokemon that's wearing. It looked like this man had a hat on that was a manhole cover. <laughs> It looked like his whole life he'd just been compressed in some kind of fattening machine. <laughs> like he'd been in the redensifying matrix. Uh, yeah, and he just was in there. And when he sat down, I was pinned to the wall. There was nowhere for me to go. Yeah, I couldn't move. I was pinned. And then he went vampire style like this <laughs> to try and save me. But no, I was just pinned in. And right away, I started texting you guys. Oh, no. Kill me now. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. This is the worst thing that ever happened. It's a 13-hour flight. No, that would have been insane. That was worse than my mom dying. Because <laughs> I knew my mom was going to go at some point. Right. You know? This was 12 hours of me wishing that I was with my mommy in the dirt. <laughs> um, so he's wedged me in. I don't, I don't know what my to do. I don't know my recourse. So we're delayed like a half hour. And finally, I'm like, okay, there has to, soon as the, the door was shut, we're delayed a half hour. I'm like, okay, I have to do something. So I go to the back, all the way to the back of the plane. I say to the guy, hey, man, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, I'm in 33L. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'm in 33L, and he went, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised the three of you were allowed, because they will uh, balance the plane out. I don't think the necessary. waist and balances thing is real. Uh, it's, I really it's think it's, it's some kind of hokum pokum. Okay. So I go back, and the guy's like, yeah, let's figure something out. And he, he brought me to 59, and I had a whole row to myself in the middle of the plane. But I had to go back up and get my stuff out of the back of the, the seat front pocket. And I was like, yeah, man, I, I got a spot in the back. Uh, it's, uh, we're going to have some room, you know, I just couldn't make it over here. And the guy's like, okay. And I, I was like, do you want to go back? Because I want the window. Yeah. You know? and I, I was like, do you want to go back? And he says, no, I like it here. So I grab my stuff. I go on my little daily stroll about four hours later. Guess where we sit in? In the middle, still in the middle. What no, lunatic! Yes. What the? He fuck? He didn't move over. He maintained his middle meat. What? Yeah, he said he wanted to be sloppy Joe. Oh my! He didn't Lord. say it. it doesn't make it. any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But he's he was the right there. He was. He was in the middle. Was, maybe he was. What was Isle guy doing? Isle guy was uh, writing his will. Cleaning the back his of gun. A napkin. <laughs> just cleaning his gun. Yeah. It's the only thing he knows is taking it apart, putting it together. Uh, yeah, he was actually timing himself. He was crafting a ghost gun out of a <laughs> pieces of, his, of the fuselage. Yeah, he cut his seatbelt off and he was tightening it around his neck. <laughs> I wish that we could. I uh, tried to get a picture of him. Uh, well, I was going to say, I wish that we could uh, have. Uh, a picture of the guy next to me on the way to Humboldt, the guy next to you, and the guy that Bonzo and Jake were next to. That green blob in the back? <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa. He's tall and yeah. thick. Yeah. Damn. And that's from that far away. Yeah. No, you know? He's massive. <laughs> yeah. He's I mean, the biggest. Yeah. But Becker and Bonzo had to sit next to a dude. Oh, it was big. And that, in, like, towards the end of the flight, I was infuriated. That's the wad, man. The three chairs next to us 
were Fear. all his family, and they were all tiny people. Right, and they certainly, so one of them certainly should have sat. Yeah, he sat. instead of him sitting with people that know and love him and fucking up their flight, and he did the thing where, like, instead of turning, like, away from us into the aisle, he turned, like, into me to read his book <laughs> the whole fucking flight. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, what was the book about? It was a weird book about young white boys joining a karate clan in Asia and all the girls were named like Kuki and Suki. All right. Take it easy. It was weird. <laughs> We've been playing it pretty cool. It was a weird book. I just re- I woke up to a text from you that just said karate books are weird. <laughs> and it was R. <laughs> just the capital R. Let's try to type it quick without I get it. looking. I mean I was not when I was texting you guys, this guy sucks. I wish he would pass away. <laughs> uh, I hate that he's alive and he was ever allowed. Yeah. I was I was holding my phone right here and I saw him <laughs> peeking. I wanted him to do something. <laughs> you wanted to fight him. I wanted him to fucking do something about his situation. You can't do that to people. No. You can't treat people like you've treated yourself. You one, of the, I mean? one of the reasons that I have been buying window seats, it's it's for my comfort, but yeah. it's also for the people in the aisle in window seats. Of course, of course. Because the middle is no place for a big person. Like you just, it's not fair. and. Yeah, these people are just fucking saving eighteen dollars. I know. Just buy this. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm Why saying. Why are you going to Japan if you want to die? You know what I mean? Middle I mean, he, dude, he couldn't hang himself. Yeah, but you he's, should. Maybe he's <laughs> big enough that he came here and is just laying on a street cooking to death. That would be cool. He's in the forest. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, enough about the flight. I got here. I didn't do anything weird. You did. I didn't do anything strange. You went to a puppy cafe and you said, uh, I think I could eat three, <laughs> maybe four. Yeah. And they were like, Sir, yeah. we have we have a food menu, and then the puppies just kind of hang out uh, and you play with them. And you're like, I want to eat. I, I, I said, I want to talk to the manager. Get a, get a, get a <laughs> pot, get some water boiling, and let me see these puppies. Line them up. You have lied to me. Where's this? Where's the truth in advertising? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I saw a little girl petting a puppy and I said, I'll have what she's having, <laughs> <laughs> which was a secret cute orgasm from uh, Becker. What? Little girl had an O? Oh, I meant just like a physically a small lady. person. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but you know what I didn't need while I was here was, uh, was my manscaped shaver. You didn't I didn't need, need to use it on my pubes, but I do use it on my face every You're not, day. That's not allowed. I shave every day. They're not going to like it. Why not? I don't know. Why don't they use it? It's my body, my choice. <laughs> I can't drag this thing across any part of my body. Yes. I should be dragging it across this. No, no. This is this is the money maker. That's my tough. That's the forest that keeps <laughs> me from going to the suicide. <laughs> <laughs> my rancid tough, the everyone. <laughs> Uh, Becker, should we show them how good this thing works on human hair? I think we'll do it after we're doing it during the pot. I mean, we give them a little taste right now, yeah. you know? Sure. So it's amazing that you can find exactly what you need. Oh. How about I read this okay. while you demonstrate? Switch with Becker. So hopefully you're watching this. And if you are, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to Chubby Behemoth on Patreon. Or no, on YouTube. Also, I don't know. It's gonna make a mess. Yeah, yeah. Cares? It's an Airbnb. Uh, All the yeah, shit that we've been I'm, doing. I don't here? sleep out here. Yeah. It's amazing when you can find exactly what you need. It all comes in a kit that's ready to go, and all of your problems are solved. Manscaped is here to solve your grooming woes, so you can have the smoothest balls at the summer barbecue, or the smoothest, smoothest head. forehead in Tokyo. <laughs> Just pick up their performance package 4.0 and you'll be all set. <laughs> it comes with the lawnmower. It, 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 really comes, it comes with the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. Wow. Oh, look at that. Weed whacker 2.0 for ear and nose hair grooming. Crop preserver, anti-chafing ball deodorant, crop reviver ball toner, Easy. and two free grips. That way. 
a pair of comfy boxers, and a classy travel bag to store your new stuff. Have we got to the personal endorsement yet? Yes. I don't think we need to. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. He's doing it. How far back should I go? I don't know. I need to look at you from the front. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you should be on Canadian money. <laughs> if you want to see more of that, join the Patreon, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all hair is pube hair, isn't it? The beard, the hair. That's your head in hair. the Bible. <laughs> it's all, they're all pubes in the eyes of God. I was so sleepy. That really woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving Becker's horseshoe. <laughs> uh, look at you. <laughs> it's going to be wild when we finish. Oh, it. my God. <laughs> It was, it's the right move. Oh, and, then have, and then I'm going to have to go to a barber to get the sides cleaned up. No, I'll handle it. No. Yeah, no. I know what I'm doing. I'm not clearly through your decision for months. <laughs> the top you can do. All right. <laughs> Crazy. Look at you. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love shaving a guy's head. I love shaving people. <laughs> You know, you've that. said many times it's one of the most intimate things that two people can engage in is cutting the other's hair. Well, when it's a girl cutting your hair, it's an easy way to like get them close to you, breathing on you, exchanging the same like close proximity. Boobs on the side of the head. Boobs on the neck. I've used that move countless times. I used to take sluts to bar bar and just be like, clean me up. <laughs> At bar bar? Yeah, it worked twice there. You had the clippers on you? No, I never used the clippers, always scissors. They I shouldn't say slips. The they were nice moments. SLFM cut my hair bar bar, at Barbar. Bar. I knew that. I thought she maybe cut it on the road. Yeah. Let's finish the ad. <laughs> this is gone. You got a far too long. You got a personal endorsement about your shoot, your pubes? No, my pubes suck. But Becker's forehead is smooth as hell. Yeah, my forehead's almost as smooth as it makes my balls. That thing could trick a priest. <laughs> <laughs> We know that shaving down there can be a little nerve-wracking, but you're in great hands with Manscaped. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is even made with a cutting-edge ceramic blade and skin-safe technology to reduce grooming accidents so you can weed-whack to your heart's content. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CHUBBY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code CHUBBY. Manscaped, the perfect way to get your patties sizzling hot this summer. Your patties. Who writes this shit? <laughs> We've been using the term beans. I mean, like, that's perfect for summer. You got your barbecue beans next to your hot dog. <laughs> My balls are like patties out here. I've just been sitting on them. Because <laughs> they're so long. <laughs> so it's been 100 degrees in Tokyo the last two days. The whole time. With like 70%. Don't look at me. <laughs> I can't look at the screen. <laughs> it really does look better, right? Like, I didn't think it was going it's to. It's going to be a lot better once it's but done it is right. Better, once they pick a line. It's and then... insane. You look like Larry. You do. Larry look... Fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you leave it long on the sides, you could, you could have a Larry Fine thing going. Yeah. It's you look like roll. you're in black and white everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, dude. <laughs> That's sick. Next up, Bonzo, let's shave your dick and balls. <laughs> yeah. Get it on camera. It'll be for the uh, Patreon after dark. Uh, um, so it's been really hot here. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Very hot. I can't. Too hot. Everybody that we've talked to is like, "Why are you here in July?" Yeah, this this was this was a crazy move. Only I gotta take a, my glasses off. Come only a total eyes. psychopath would come here in July. Only a total psychopath would bring his fat friend and his <laughs> horseshoe headed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we were in Paris in October. It was wonderful. People oh. thought that was crazy because it's like chilly and it's like no that's perfect we walked like 20 miles a day it was nice that it was cold yeah meanwhile we're walking here we're also walking a lot here it sucks and it's a lot and i'm navigating the trains i'm like we're shooting this you know 
show. And by the way, Barstool has nothing to do with the podcast. Don't worry. All right. Everyone quit freaking out. Um, so until yeah. they do, until no. they take control and they say, we want to replace Lund with Rob Gun Gronkowski. <laughs> <laughs> with baby Gronk. <laughs> Quit looking at him, Bonzo. <laughs> He's a freak. I'm Sam, sitting next to a penis freak. Sam, we would like to replace Lund with Herschel Walker. <laughs> they, they have a lot of similar ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Politically, they're annoying. Um, <laughs> uh, I need to go bird box now. I need to put, if I look, I die. I need to establish that. <laughs> Cover your face with your new Kangle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and Bonzo got Kangles. <laughs> Bonzo got a cream. Oh, it's <laughs> uh, I've had it for a 32 Dude, hours. I've gone full blues traveler now. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> uh, Should I come in and say hello to you? Yeah, yeah, sure. If you're ready, you <laughs> four-year-old. <laughs> I'm hey, scared. Hey, everyone, it's Bonzo. <laughs> Sam's childhood friend Bonzo's here, everyone. Hey. Now, Bonzo, the Kangol buddies. Have you ever been on a podcast before? Hello out there in Radio Land. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to your friend that you've known since third grade. Yeah, I don't know. Don't spaz. <laughs> don't get your shit in. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to figure out a catchphrase. <laughs> Answer Sam's question. Have you been on a podcast before? No. Okay. Mm, no. Uh, That's Bonzo, why you're scared. Are you enjoying your time? Yeah, it's great. You can't talk. You don't know how to talk. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He doesn't know where to look. <laughs> I'll go around the corner. I'm sorry. No, it was Bonzo going. Ah, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know how to use words? Uh, All right, that's it for. Why are you? No, why are you called Bonzo? Okay, yeah. Uh, but so Bonzo's here. He's filming. He was a cinematographer on my comedy special, Waiting for Death to Claim Us. Him and Zach Toll made it look so nice. Uh, Bonzo's holding our uh, the camera. He's our cameraman. He's producing. He's directing. He's doing a really, really great job. Pat, you had a good run. <laughs> Bonzo learns to edit. You're dead. All right. uh, but yeah, Bonzo, tell, tell him about yourself. Why are you called Bonzo? Uh, Anthony Bonte. Turned into Ann Vaughn, turned into Ant Vaughn, turned into Fonny. Turned into and Delphonic Hydroponic. hydroponic yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turned into Fonny. Turned into Fonzo. Turned into Fonzo. And then you and JR were Garbonzo for a minute because he was garbage. And you were you were Fonzo and they combined them. And I think that's where Bonzo came from. You were Gonzo for a while I was too. Gonzo for a minute, but yeah. that's Mark Gonzalez, so you can't do that. Right, everyone confused you guys because you were both equally good at skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hated Bonzo the most, so it stuck. It stuck. It stuck hard. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, like most nicknames. If yeah. you hate it, then it's cemented forever. And and Bonzo, if you're listening to this, first of all, this one you should be watching. And also, but if you're listening, he looks like uh, the Toy Machine Turtle Boy. Look like turtle boy. I don't know who that is. That's fair, right? That's cool. If he had a creamsicle kangle. <laughs> uh, and Bonzo, anything you want to tell these people before we bring Becker back on? <laughs> no. See you next time. All right. <laughs> we'll have a Bonzo episode here while we're in uh, Japan. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm slap happy. Will we? I don't know. I don't know. Bonzo <laughs> will be able to come out of his shell. <laughs> wow. Like Becker. <laughs> it'd be funny if Becker's hair was had grown back like a curse that he can't get rid of. He was just back doing the wispy, crusty esque peak. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great when we finish it. I'm really excited. I, I, think, we're, I think we're finished. No, no we're not <laughs> finished. I think it's good. No. Oh, oh. Need it edged up. So what else has been going on? <laughs> We ate Whoa, those candy at... strawberries. Oh, those were oh, good. Dude. We've done stuff. It hasn't just been us sitting around shaving back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Dude, whoa, but, whoa. I, I got Jimmy Neutron out of nowhere. Whoa, no, there is be. jizz in that fucking conditioner <laughs> bottle. There's no way there's not. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's crazy. <laughs> what the shit? No. <laughs> my hair looks great too, which is no. crazy. Yeah, look at Whoa, my hair. Look at that. I'm I'm a troll though. <laughs> You're the heat visor. I'm the heat. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. This is bad audio. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. It's a great pod though. I care a lot. Wait. <laughs> Just watch it, I guess. Do a video now. Pull the forklift over. <laughs> Hot damn. Oh God. Oh, that's crazy. I wouldn't have guessed my hair was this long right now. Yeah, you look nuts. And now uh, you guys are gonna have to go in and get Japanese haircuts. You have to <laughs> communicate what you want. You're gonna walk in and they're gonna think that you just <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna think they're on a prank show. <laughs> they're gonna think that you was... <laughs> hair bandits. <laughs> The haircut jokers. <laughs> Where's the camera? Well, and then Bonzo will be filming, so they, yeah. they know it's fun. They, yeah, they, they know, they know they're, oh, that they're the, the oh. subject of a fucking oh. prank. I think they'll get it. <laughs> they're not going to get it. I think they'll know what I mean. I'm just like, shave. Poochie, poochie. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. Yeah. Snip, snip, snip. Oh. Yes. Uh, also, you had said to bring it, you know, you bring in a picture of George Costanza. That's right. I'm going to download a picture of Costanza and then show them. <laughs> That's your plan. It's yeah. like what I needed to get American Spirits today, and I just held them up so we can smoke in that Airstream trailer. Exactly. Oh, my God. That trailer was sick. Uh, they have these smoking trailers here. They're like vintage Airstreams because smoking on the streets illegal unless you're Becker, <laughs> unless you're bad boy Billy Bong Rip Becker, <laughs> just walking around totally thwacked and gacked. Um, you're using a, a former sponsor. Yeah, I didn't know if we should shout them out or not. I think they still give us money. Hey, uh, Fume, I brought you over here to Tokyo so that I didn't uh, get a ticket like Becker most certainly will if he keeps walking that line. And I got to say, it's been uh, helpful. I didn't want to uh, get another Elf bar. They're too fucking hey, tasty, and we don't. We're, we're not doing an ad for them. We have to do another ad. <laughs> you literally told me to talk about it, so cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's these loving it over here in here. Japan. <laughs> Everyone's getting. I'm along. not sick of Sam at all. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't drop him off in the forest right now and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> but instead. Uh, I'm clicking my fume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fuming, thanks to fume. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, we do have to do a third ad on this episode, and people are going to be pissed that you just did a free fume ad. Nobody cares. Everyone cares. Everyone loves everything I say. <laughs> you are perfect. As long as I get my shit in. Uh, so, so yeah, we smoked in a trailer today while Becker went to the shoe store. It's been a pretty Becker-centric adventure so far. We started with a few things that Becker wanted to uh -huh. do, which was great. We went to Harajuku, yeah. which was described by uh, our friend Gabe as the rich asshole district, I think. Is that what he said? It's yeah. like there's there's like fancy shops and stuff. And Becker, that's Becker's thing. Shoes. Got yeah. here, some Jordans. Got some Jordans. Checked out. What was the Altos? Is that a store? Atmos. Atmos. I, I went into one Atmos that was like a small one in Harajuku that was awesome. We were auditioning for the role of Sphere. We went into the <laughs> smallest hype store I've ever been in when we went to Human Made. Atmosphere. They had like what six shirts on the wall. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was funny. And there was like Charlie Brown and Lucy were on them. Yeah. And so. who was who was whose shirt was Meshack Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> Pharrell. Oh yeah. Yeah. Another made up name. Um. Uh. <laughs> Keep catching glances of you, dude. I'm <laughs> trying to hold it together. I know. Um, yeah, we went I feel to like the hair bragging right now between you two. <laughs> Mine's good. No. We went to the. We're gonna shave you <laughs> no. in Paris or no in Reykjavik. Yeah, in Reykjavik. <laughs> you got another couple months, and then we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that fucking sorry excuse for a dumb. It, it's fine hair. Lean down Larry a little fine. more. I am. It's Larry fine hair. That's no, good, <laughs> man. Uh, Hannah's baby daddy, Adam. I saw him in Detroit and he was like, 
talking to Emily and Emily was like, yeah, no, we're trying to get him on the medicine to fix it. <laughs> and Adam's like as bald as a man can be. And Adam just went, we're waiting for you, Sam. Just come home. Just come home. All right. We'll be here to catch you. Just come home. He wanted to shave my head. Uh, we did not obviously do that. You're but not ready. I'm not ready to admit. You're going to be able to do the lift gal where it goes straight up and over. No, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to have a full head of hair my whole life. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I'm going to weigh 280 pounds <laughs> and I'm going to have a full head of hair. It's going to be great. Me too. Yeah, if you were 280 and I was 240, there'd be no stopping us. <laughs> this <laughs> looks literally like we are reading for Seinfeld, the new class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. Newman, of course. <laughs> you're Crammer because you crammed all the food <laughs> in your gorge. I'm a Slimer. I'm a Kramer Slimer hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> the Guiguo next door that has to borrow uh, a pound of sugar. Yeah, so we can eat it. Um, and a spoon. Oh my God. I'm going to have some more Japanese snacks. <laughs> Those great gummies are delicious yeah so yeah but becker hasn't really gone in on any weird snacks or any weird gummies haven't bought any uh like kit kats even pounded any the strange only, treats from 7-eleven the only kit kats we found so far looked like they were super dark chocolate yeah they looked is... plain which i wasn't excited about yeah we have to we should go to like a fun candy store yeah we could we could uh google find, it, there's a kit kat in oh yeah we have to go there let's get Let's get a bunch of Kit Kats. Yeah. Google it. Go. Google it, boy. Go. Run. Candy <laughs> you son of a bitch. How long has this woman going? Uh, we should do another ad in about four notes. minutes. I'm like dizzy from last night. <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> I, I barely slept last night. Um, I got away with one. <clears throat> um, you jacked. This is now the second time. That you've jacked with me less than five feet away. It's really not a big deal. It's going to turn into your, the only way you can be hard is if I'm in the room. <laughs> oh, I was so hard today. <laughs> <laughs> we got good Wi-Fi That's so here. fucked. It's not that fun. It is, because what if I wake up? Then I know who I'm, I'm watching you as I'm doing And I have to see. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. I have the phone right here, and over the uh top of the phone is just your body mass rising and falling and you're snoring you snore really loud not like that right no not like that not like you're passing away not like you're actively dying that's good um but yeah when i'm feeling overwhelmed that's what i do you know what else what i do when i'm feeling overwhelmed the first thing to go on the back burner is cooking a nutritious meal before I even know what's happening, I'll head. I'll find myself mindlessly heading towards the nearest McDonald's. God, I would eat some shit right now. We need a bunch are, of McDonald's today. Are we? What are we gonna have for dinner? Should we get hot pot? Mm, sure. Should we get? Good. Should we get Japanese barbecue? Japanese oh, barbecue sounds bomb. You know what we should do? The like grill your own. Yeah, we should go when we walk to the train station after this. We'll hit Mickey Don Don. Okay. And we'll each have one thing. Okay. One thing. I'll have two. No, one. Come on. Come on, you haven't been good. It's my whole thing. I haven't been good. <laughs> yeah, you've been bad. I've been, been great. great. You made fun of my hair. <laughs> We've been great. We've all been great. We say at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Everything he's had has been like great. Well, a little I'm bit so of fried healthy. chicken. Look at how healthy I am. Oh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not talking about what you've been eating. I'm talking about your attitude. I'm bummed that scale is never going to weigh any of us because it would have been cool to see how much collective weight we want lost in this heat. I don't think we're losing any weight. I'm we sure I have. Conversion. Do you think so? Yeah. You think we're losing weight? Yes. Look at how thin I am. I'm so thin. We've all lost weight. For sure. <laughs> yeah, but it's water weight. A little bit. We're moving around too. Yeah, I mean, because like the calorie counter on my phone says I, I, yesterday I burnt 1,300 calories. Nice. Which is negligible. Yeah. And then, oh, we fucking smoked weed last night. Yeah. We forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. It was a cool time. It was a chill time. Dude. Yeah. Fucking shout out to Gabe. Shout out to Modern Dot Painters on Instagram for taking us on a wild ride last night. That ruled. Yeah, we fucking smoked weed in Japan, which I never thought I would do. In and of it's it. such a nasty crime. Yeah. Yeah, we smoked weed in a uh, in a in a in a bar that was weed themed. Mm -hmm. Right, they had a sign hanging their shingle was right on the street. It was very clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then we walked in there, and uh, the proprietor, who was a uh, his name was Chill. Uh, his birth name. Yeah, his birth name, yeah. Uh, and hearing him pronounce it was funny. 
he <laughs> he had face tattooed dots on his face. Like an arrangement? Yeah, there was like, Mi vida like loca? three. I don't know. A triangle? So it, no, triangle it was like Mi vida loca. I have no I don't think it was oh each side of the cheek. Yeah, like it was something notice. to do with maybe the bureaucrats some, of Japan. Maybe he had a, had an everything bagel and you could have wiped those away. Maybe it was rapeseed. That might be the worst name seed. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were making that up. Uh-huh. Rape seed's the name of a seed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not grape seed. No, there is grape seed. And there's also rape seed. Okay. It's on everything bagels. It's okay. I tried a bit about it. I was I'll like, bet you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It uh, was like, Camp Camp, was that the first name? <laughs> we couldn't do better than rape seed. Uh, your camera and I, Bonzo? All right. Too bad. Um, but yeah, smoking weed in Japan. I only took uh, three puffs, but I was very high. Mm hmm. And then uh, I think I said some crazy fucking gibberish on the drive home. Oh, yeah. Did I? Yeah. But it made sense, though. It wasn't no. nuts. I it think it made nuts. sense. No. You said, what is up? Why is up up? No, no, no. You, I, it was like that. Oh, I don't remember what it was. I said that it's crazy that spill the beans and spill the tea have swapped places because the people who say spill the tea have definitely not like been eating a big can of beans and spilt it all over the floor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I drag queens and like gay men, they're not sitting around eating beans. You said women don't eat beans. Well, women got, they also don't eat beans as well, but they got that from gay men and drag queens, mm. which I'm saying are not the same thing, you know? Right. There's some straight, we shouldn't assume just because a man puts on a funny wig and puts on a dress and a bunch of makeup and high heels and sings to Barbara Streisand that he likes to pound dudes. Maybe. I know a straight dude who does it. Well. He's been married to I don't the think same lady do. for 50 years and they have kids and shit. Yeah, yeah, but that's he's that's like a compromise. into her, though. Mm. I think yeah, he's, he's, into, he's being... into her shoe collection. But yeah, that mm-hmm. too. Good for them. Everyone should be happy. That's what I say. Uh, you know what makes me happy? Uh... Trying to break the stress. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> we went uh, eating we healthy makes me happy. And if you're trying to break the stress to, to drive through cycle, Factor has you covered. That's right, Factor, everyone. They're America's number one ready to eat meal kit. Everything is delivered right to your door with Factor. So you can stay <laughs> Stop on the like that. What? That's a hyphen? No, it's, I'm just reading it. Just so reading you can it stay like on robot. No, you I'm can Factor. <laughs> Give me any two numbers and I will multiply them. It's like a cool factor. That's not a big deal. <laughs> you haven't seen multiplication like this before. <laughs> factor, factor. Well. <laughs> Bow before factor. Oh no. Factor has gone fascist. <laughs> Kneel before factor. <laughs> Me multiplied by you equals death. Me times you equals <laughs> rape scene. <laughs> and you know what? I don't know if Factor uses rape seed exclusively. But I'll bet there's a lot more to it than a little seed that's on an everything bagel. I don't think they just serve you seeds like a bird. <laughs> Oh, good. My factor is here. <laughs> My seed packet has arrived. <laughs> and they deliver it right to your door with factor. So you can stay on top of your health goals and your busy schedule. And you know what? I'm going to give you a personal endorsement. I cannot wait till factor arrives to the P.O. box. <laughs> we have factor rotting on our doorsteps I right know. now because we're not home. I don't have an address. Where are they sending this shit? <laughs> <laughs> the people who live in my old home are going to be munching factor hey, every that mean, day. Yeah, that means Megan's enjoying factor by herself. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she, you're gonna come home and you're gonna be married to a big robot and just multiplication. <laughs> she better, better make those meals and then put them in the freezer so I can enjoy them as well. So. Well, uh, I I love <laughs> this product. I love eating it. I love microwaving it or putting it in the oven. I can't remember which one. Um, but yeah, they're it's so yummy to eat them. Right, guys? I'm you're sure they are. Bonzo, I mean, quit it's, laughing. It's the number one meal <laughs> delivery service in the nation. In the whole world. In maybe. the world. Maybe. Excuse me. Maybe. 
America. They're America's number one ready to eat meal kit. Oh, yeah. So that means they haven't tapped into the Japanese market just yet. And these people are in a hurry. And if you're in a hurry, like a Japanese guy, and you need to eat a bunch of stuff, <laughs> back tour is there for you. You want something healthy to eat on your way to the forest because you lost your job. <laughs> Make that last meal count with back to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you ate all that hair that Sam cut. Yeah, I told you not to eat the hair. Back to is fresh, never frozen meals. Take just two minutes to prepare, so meal times are quick, easy, and delicious. And with over 34 weekly restaurant quality options, there's always something new to try with Factor. <laughs> They're flavor packed meals. Bow before Factor. <laughs> there is no being more powerful than Factor. <laughs> and because it's so powerful, their meals fit a variety of lifestyles from keto and calorie conscious to vegan and vegetarian. Head to factormeals.com slash chubby50 and use code chubby50 to get 50% off. Your first order? No. Whoa. Head to factormeals.com slash chubby50 and use code chubby50 to get 50% off. Now that's a fucking deal. That's code chubby5050 at factormeals.com slash chubby50 to get 50% off. What a great deal. How could you not? Oh, my God. Psychos, you have to take advantage. My God. Oh, and speaking of taking advantage, uh, we're going <laughs> to... Becker's going to go to the jerk parlor tonight. We'll report back. I looked up sex robots, and I don't, I don't <laughs> think... <laughs> Wait, did you find Factor? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. What if Gun the Gundam fucks you? <laughs> no, Some I don't want to be fucked. I want Fuck. <laughs> Something. Step inside of the Gundam's pussy. <laughs> My dick times your asshole equals oblivion. <laughs> equals, <laughs> equals gush. Uh, no, I thought maybe uh, there would be like a, a sex parlor where there were robots that you could, uh, you know, choose from and and bang. And I don't think that that's the case. And when you're saying robots, do you mean like an R two D two type thing or like no. a sex doll? Like a doll, but a robot. Cool. Jugged awesome. up robot. Yeah, yeah. They're, that's not cheap. There's some right. sex robots, right? Yeah, yeah. there's a bunch. That's, right. the, that's yeah. the only binary person I want to have sex with. <laughs> Otherwise, bring on the day them titties. <laughs> Factor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, we should plug our dates. I'll be in Australia for like <laughs> ever. I'll be in Australia for three weeks. If you're in Australia, please come meet, see me. I'll be in every. Come up and see me, <laughs> Australia. I'll be around. You know? uh, I'll be in Canberra and Melbourne. I will. And Sydney and Blitney mm -hmm. and Factor. <laughs> A lot of snakes in Factor. <laughs> I'll be uh, I'll be there, and then when I come home, I'll be in Paris too for a week. Uh, the first week of September, doing shows. Uh, so come to those, we and then in Paris. I'll be at the uh, sequel to I'll be Jay Z at, Kanye song. Me and Lund will be will be at Laugh Boston, uh, September eighth and 9th. Man, we had so much fun in Boston last time. I'm excited to go back. Now we're in the Big Boy Club too. It's a hell of a town. I want to go back to Baco. Yeah, uh, we'll hell be better. Me Alec Baco. Flynn's hosting, so that'll be fun. I can't wait for him to get all the limelight while I get the lemon shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Old Alec Flynn, uh, I got one clip to go semi-viral on Instagram, immediately booked it to LA. Yeah, I'm glad that I invited him to do these shows before he got some success. Before he loses your number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> before he's the next Tom Cruise, a little tiny heartbreaker. Before he's married to Factor. Before he, before he gets to, oh, dude, I watched uh, Lords of Dogtown, mm -hmm. and it has a 2005, so Sofia Vergara. Whoa. Holy shit. That'll do. Damn. It was crazy. I mean, she's big. still beautiful, but my God. 18 years ago, mm -hmm. she was, what, 16? No, <laughs> she was not. She, yeah, she was she an was adult. Like 15. Holy F. 
Um, it was crazy. Austin, Texas, the following weekend. We're so, all over sorry. the road. Uh, I'll be in Boston and Austin. You're doing Austin too? And it's question marks in my calendar, so maybe you were going to get back to me. If you want to do it, you can do it. Let's fucking do it, dude. <laughs> Let's do it, dog. How much longer can we fly on planes before it's like forbidden because it's melting the planet? I no say let's cares. let's travel, baby. I oh, didn't, I, uh, didn't, I didn't buy the airline. I didn't say let's crank out more CO two. I just want to go fly some places at a drive, and baby. Leicester Theater, November seventeenth in London. Lund's coming over. London. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> also, my fucking special, y'all. August 10th, Soup's on YouTube. I'll have a link uh, probably in the next week or so. Very excited to uh, have people see some some of the jokes I've done for years. Yeah. Some I almost forgot and then said, let's commit them to uh, some vinyl. Uh, also, there's no vinyl, but 4x3 Productions uh, is putting it out. August 10th, Soup's on, baby. Join the Patreon. 